Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Erica and I create beauty videos, hair videos, as well as lifestyle videos. So if any of those things interest you, definitely consider subscribing to my channel by hitting that subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell, you guys, to see all my future uploads. So getting into this video you guys we are going to be doing another hair video this is a heatless natural hair video that i am super proud of we are doing perm rods okay as you can see the results are phenomenal if you want to see how i got my curls this holiday festive hairstyle definitely stay tuned <laughs> all right you guys so i'm starting off on blown out hair i did a heatless blowout and if you want to see how i achieved that let me know so these are the perm rods and i'm just showing you guys the two that i end up using um and then i'm using this uh cheap butter by ada's what is ada's hair care and y'all when i say this butter was super soft and creamy like it left my hair really really fluffy and airy and it didn't feel way down at all so all i'm doing is sectioning off my hair as usual usual and we're going to be starting in the back So uh, you'll hear me talk throughout this video about the different methods that I use. So this first go around, I put the butter on my hair and I detangle it. And what I did was um, try to apply the perm rod at my root and um, pretty much roll the hair onto the rod as I... Um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, just roll my hair on the rod and then pin it. But you're going to see that it did not work. Like, it wouldn't stay. It was loose. And I was like, no, I need my roots to be, like, secure so it can come out right. So I end up taking that out. And I just tried it the other way where I just applied the perm rod on my ends and rolled it upward and then secured it Um on the roots you're gonna hear me talk later on about the different methods y'all so i tried this it was okay i mean this is not a bad method here there's so many different ways you can do your hair and perm rods but yeah so i went ahead and did the back of my head off camera and i'm just gonna let the music ride y'all i'm literally just trying out different ways to apply this perm rod until i figure out what is the best method for me and i did figure that out later on in the video so yeah keep on watching
hope y'all can hear me over this darn TV. But I completed the perm rods. Um, how am I feeling right now? I hope the results are okay. I just feel like the results are gonna be like meh because like as I got towards the front of my hair I started doing another technique that I saw and I was like oh I like that technique better than the technique I started out with but we're gonna see y'all know I like to experiment with different techniques to see you know what ends up being the thing for me but um I'm thinking like maybe I should have did this on wet hair I did not want to do on wet hair because the shrinkage but I feel like the process would have been a little bit easier uh, to me I don't know I mean this wasn't hard it's not taking me any long it's like what 4 55 I think I started around 4 o'clock it did not take long but um starting out with like dry hair and applying your product where it's a uh, mousse wrap lotion I use the butter um so going from like dry wet and combing and a lot of shedding like I could have did without you know um had I started on wet hair you know I don't deal with all that it would have just been a smooth transition but the thing is the dry time and the shrinkage I started off on blown out dry hair um I did not use any hot tools at all um because I wanted volume of course I like a volume a volume girl so I'm thinking my takedown I don't know if it'll be tomorrow to work and uh, I might just wear a scarf on my head for work tomorrow so I can really like let this kind of do its thing. I might do my takedown tomorrow because I don't want to wear rollers twice um, in one week. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Alright, so it is day two and we are ready for this takedown, you guys. Like, it was just everything. Like, it was everything. Just keep watching.
all right guys so this is the finished hair look i i love my results i'm actually in shock that they came out this good because when i was putting my perm rods in my method was like all over the place i was like oh this is this just ain't gonna be good anytime i do a new style something i never done like i don't have that much faith in myself but y'all okay let's let's get into it so i think i it's been a full 24 hours since i put the perm rods in so they did have time to dry they wasn't wet to begin with it was just um damp i would say damp from the product that i used i used the cheap butter um and i'm glad i used this butter because i literally have pillow soft curls like my hair is so bouncy and it's so lightweight i was going to use a mousse but i didn't i only had like a little bit um in my container so i was like i don't want to start with a mousse and have to switch over products i want to use just one product so i was like well i have not tried the butter yet so i was like let me try this butter out on this perm rod set and this is the results now i do have some frizz on this side um this was the side i i would say experimented with like my initial way i was going to do my pearl rods i did it on this side and as you can see this side the right side is just flawless okay like she is there this side i tried to do a different method and um it was just like a lot going on with roots and stuff because even with this side of my roots it was tighter I, okay so that's the thing like on this side I would put the perm rod to my root like you saw and I would wrap it around which is a great method um, I will be doing that method from here on out this side I um, started at the end of my hair and I rolled my way up and tried to do like the wine thing it did not work for me like as you can see there's a lot of frizz on my left side but it's still pretty it's alright I expected frizz but I would just like to say Girl, we looking like curly sue. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know if I'm gonna wear it like down the middle like this and maybe put a bobby pin and make my bangs. No child, we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. I don't know. I, I did a middle part because I was like, what if I just want a middle part? I can do that. And I also can do okay, I don't need my nails to be getting caught on here. I can do a side part and you know do a little crafty craft with the edges which i'll probably wear tomorrow to work um but i don't know i don't have nothing to say y'all like my hair looks good like look at this i hope i don't have that big hole in the middle i did try to pick with this comb just do some lifting but not much because the hair is going to drop and also like i have a lot of volume um, I wanted a lot of volume anyway. That's why I used the butter and I started on dry hair because I didn't want a whole bunch of shrinks where I had to fluff. Y'all. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it right. I'm going to do it again though. Like this is so cute. I think like perm rod sets, any like curly style is so cute and so like feminine and festive for the holiday so that's why i paired it with these red lips child i mean it just screams holiday like christmas and stuff so that's why i wanted to go ahead and do a curl video and you will be seeing more like when she drop drops can't tell me nothing okay i was scared it came out perfect for me and i already know i can do better but like girl girl her now i'm debating like if i want to do this imaginary side part let's just do this really really quickly and i'm gonna do my outro you guys i just kind of want to lay it a little bit to see what i get but this came out so cute so freaking cute you know i always gotta have my little piece out and maybe like pin there what y'all think should i do it on the side 
Are we feeling the middle or should we just do like a bang style? Let me know down in the comment section below, y'all. I ain't gonna hold y'all no more. I ain't gonna hold y'all. It's lit over here. Christmas is around the corner. What are you guys doing? Um, Christmas COVID edition, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna ramble. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in as always. Thank you to my new subscribers. If you have not subscribed to this channel as of yet, girl, I just don't know what you're waiting on. Like, I just don't know what you're waiting on. Just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you click all so you can see my next uploads. And as always, you loves, I will see y'all in my next video.